we are uh, jumping into the auto calibration uh, portion of the install. Uh, at this point, um, everything under the hood is uh, is connected, is installed. We double checked all of our wiring and connections, and uh, we're sitting in the driver's seat with a laptop. The engine is not running. This is a 2011 um, Chevy Silverado 5.3 liter engine. It's got about 38,000 miles on it. Um, now this Silverado we've already done, so uh, these are settings that we've already set. Um, you will upload, uh, going to program, and you'll go to read settings and you can upload the file that you get from SkyCNG or your own file and uh, it'll give you all of these preset settings um, so it'll give you a jump start into the, to, into the um, auto calibration tuning. Uh, we'll go right into calibration and the engine needs to be running at this point so I'm going to crank it up it'll remind you to uh, turn off the air conditioner and your headlights and things like that if you need to so um, these will all be at a default level when you get in so we'll go to start calibration see the uh, settings uh, have carried over uh, from the original page and uh, calibration on idle is the only thing that we really need to worry about and uh, air conditioner and everything else is left um, is turned off so let's go for it on the left hand side uh, these are your petrol injectors um, one through eight for the eight cylinder and on the right hand side these are your gas or CNG injectors and the injection time and you'll see the engine start to cycle through these um, here is obviously all of your control settings um, don't worry about the fuel trims during the calibration but you can see um, it's switching over to CNG. It can be kind of rough at this point. That's okay. Um, if it shuts off, if it were to stall out on you, then that uh, most likely means that you've got uh, your uh, wiring done incorrectly and you need to double check those uh, injector cutoff wires. Uh, maybe the banks are switched up or something like that. This uh, this is a Sky Pro kit that we have set to about 2.25 bar, 2.2, 2.3, so it looks pretty accurate. Map pressure looks good at about 0.3, so uh, that's good as well. You can see it cycling through, doing its test in the calibration. It's testing one bank right now, 1357 are on one side, and then 2, 4, 6, and 8 are on the other bank, and it'll uh, take a sample from that as well. In the interest of time, uh, we'll skip ahead. I'll probably pause the video so uh, it doesn't become a huge file. And it's not letting me. Gotta love Cam Studio. But the auto calibration is still progressing, so that's okay. And now you can see it going through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It calibrated the gas pressure, so that's pretty accurate. You know, our um, reducer, we had it programmed around 2.2 bar, um, so that's accurate. I think we're going to end up moving this up to uh, to 2.5 or 3 bar on future models, so um, uh, don't
don't be shocked if you were to see this um, at a different bar pressure. Calibration gas temperature looks okay as well. <clears throat> and um, once this is done, all right. Now you're ready to move on to mapping and adjust by the slider. Thanks a lot.